Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Today is going to be a little departure from my normal vlog because it is Super Bowl weekend. And guess what? It also is the second annual Gecko Bowl. That's right, the second annual Gecko Bowl. For those of you who didn't see the first Gecko Bowl, I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to spend some time with these cute little monkey here, these leopard geckos. We've got two teams going head to head for a championship in the Gecko Bowl. Truth is, not everyone likes football. So if you don't like football and maybe you like the Puppy Bowl, I think you guys are going to love the Gecko Bowl and we're going to have a great time with this. And I'm going to need your help a little later in the vlog because I'm going to need you to comment down below which team you think will come out victorious this year in the second annual Gecko Bowl. Let's go ahead and just push all our problems aside, spend some time with these amazingly beautiful little geckos here and have a great day together. Can you do me a favor? Go down in those comments and let me know what you think about the Gecko Bowl, let me know how your day is. Tell me something awesome about you guys because I love to listen to you. While you're down there, can you smash that like button? What do you say we go ahead, rally the troops, get the teams together, and kick off the second annual Gecko Bowl? And again, some people love the Puppy Bowl. I do. I watch it as well. Other people love to watch football. Grown men running around chasing a pigskin ball. Whatever you like is awesome to me. But the fact is, I wanted to give reptile lovers like myself something as cute as the Puppy Bowl. And that's why we came up with the Gecko Bowl. It went over so well with the Komodos and the Raptors going head-to-head -head last year and the Raptors coming out on top. So this year, the returning winning coach, Kelsey, will be heading up the Raptors again to see if they can repeat as Gecko Bowl champion but Jessica will be heading up the helm on the Komodo side to see if she can knock off the champions. Here in a little bit, we will explain the rules of the game. We will meet the teams and we will have a great time together. But for now, why don't we go ahead and meet the coaches? So Kelsey, how do you feel about returning as the champion with your Raptors this year? I feel pretty good about this year, Ryan. And are you at all concerned about facing the newcomer and Jessica in her Komodos? Now, I don't think she stands a chance. I think my team's up to the challenge. We're gonna win it again. As the returning champs, how do you feel? Do you think that your team has gotten kind of lazy? Or do you think that they have the same hunger that they had last year to take the first title? I think they're ready to take up the challenge. Okay, so you, you're confident. What kind of drills have you been putting them through? We've been doing running drills twice a day, and they're in the best shape of their lives. I'm a little bit concerned about the conditioning with Team Raptor. It makes me wonder if that long road into the playoffs and ultimately the championship took their toll. There have been some key injuries over the summer as well. They just didn't seem to have the same speed as Team Komodo, but they certainly have championship hearts. Jessica, how do you feel about your first ever Gecko Bowl and representing the Komodos? How do you think you'll do this year? I'm feeling pretty confident. I work with the geckos, I'm around them every day. I think I've got a pretty good technique. I think I got this in the bag. What about your Komodos? All right, I've got the bold bells here. Do you think they're faster than the Raptors? Because this is all about getting to the end zone quicker than the other team. They're pretty quick. You like give them a little uh, nudge here and there. So is this your training technique? It's to yes. kind of give them a, a little a little nudge every now and then to push them along. There you go. You're going good. Oh, see? look at him. He he immediately crossed the end zone. Go that way. Go that way. Oh. I tell you what guys, the Komodos look conditioned, they look focused. This is going to be a team that is the underdog in some ways, but truly could potentially take the crown. So Lori, what do you think about the Gecko Bowl this year? And the fact that you've been replaced by Jessica, will you continue to root for your old team? Or are you going to switch sides and root for the Raptors? Well, even though I've been replaced, I have to stay strong and back my former team. I feel like they are the strongest of the two, and I am confident in my decision that they will take it this year. So Tina, you are here for your first Gecko Bowl. Are you gonna go with Kelsey and the defending champions? Or are you gonna go with Team Jessica 
the Komodos. I'm gonna have to go with Kelsey and the Raptors just because, I mean, she's got a winning streak. You can't lose with that. You know, she's got it going on. She knows she's a good coach, she knows what she's doing, and I have full faith. Okay, Eric, Yo. you have the second annual Gecko Bowl. You have Kelsey that has the Raptors, the defending champions, and then you have the newcomer, Jessica, who is a Gecko expert with the Komodos. What side are you gonna fall on? Who are you gonna be rooting Ooh, for? Ooh, man, <laughs> don't make me pick sides, okay? You have to. We're gonna say Jessica. Team Jessica all the way. Okay, so you are going with the Komodos. The Komodos, we're gonna take it home. Noah, second annual Gecko Bowl. We've got the defending champion, Raptors, Headed up by Kelsey, and then we have Jessica with the Komodos. What team are you going to fall on? Um, I'm going to pick Jessica's team. So you are the Komodos? Yeah. Okay, strike one up for Komodos. So you guys heard it here first. It seems like the newcomers, the Komodos with their new coach Jessica, are taking the lead when it comes to our crew. Four people are backing the Komodos, and two people are backing the returning champions. Now, I have to stay unbiased because, of course, I'm an announcer, but both teams, I think, will give it their all. All right, so let's go over the rules for the 2018 annual Gecko Bowl. There are gonna be two halves. Each one of those halves, there will be three downs. What's gonna happen is the Komodos need to pass their goal line and the Raptors need to pass their goal line. Whoever does that will receive seven points. There are three downs per half and there will be a 10 minute intermission where there will be a reptile glutton ball. Now during those halves, there is a 15 yard penalty assessed to any one of the teams that potentially have any horseplay. No biting, no clawing, none of those types of things, and those penalties will be severe, so we will keep a close eye on them. We hope that this will be a clean bowl because both of these teams are very respectable and honorable, and we intend to enforce that. So with that said, what do you say we just go ahead and get into the Gecko Bowl? Before we get started on the 2018 Gecko Bowl, go ahead in the comments and let me know who you think will win. Will it be Jessica's team with Team Komodo, or will it be Kelsey's returning champion the Raptors, who will have the heart, who will become the 2018 Gecko Bowl champion. Okay, team leaders, this is the deal. You don't go until I give the go to do it. Although you can use some enticement to get them to go across, there will be no pushing. Any pushing will result in that player being taken off the field. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, put your geckos down. Go! Go, 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 go. Team Komodo takes the first touchdown. Oh my gosh, Team Komodo comes right out as the underdog. They go in there and they prove to the champions that they are something to be messed with. Kelsey, what is going on? Is your team going to be okay? Uh, I mean, they, they, I, I still think that they can come back. They have hearts of champions. I believe in them as well. So let's get ready for the second down. Go! Go, go, go. Team Komodo takes a commanding two scores nothing. They are up 14 to 0, people. But listen, the game still has a long way to go. Team Komodo is definitely showing that they were ready for this challenge. Let's go ahead and get the last down for the hat. Go! Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! It is now a commanding 21 to nothing lead. Kelsey, you have to go the next three touchdowns after halftime. Can you get in the locker room and talk to your players and make sure they're ready for the second half? I can. I'm going to give them a good talking to, and I believe in my team. I can come out in the second half and I can tie this game up. Jessica, what do you feel? I mean, you are the newcomer here, the first time. I'm feeling pretty good. Game. I'm feeling pretty good, Brian. Well, Kelsey is a great coach. She's a champion yeah. coach. Are you going to be able to get into <laughs> halftime, and are you going to be able to make sure your, your young team is up to the challenge? Well, I think that we've got our confidence going pretty strong, so I think we can pretty much take it.
for you new viewers to the Gecko Bowl, if there happens to be a tie after the six downs, we actually go to a sudden death overtime. Whoever scores that seventh touchdown is the champion. All right, now look, you've been our star player so far, and I really need you to bring it on home the second half, okay? Oh, you guys are doing so amazing. I think we're gonna take it, you guys. But before we get into the second half, I'd like to know in the comments, do the Raptors have what it takes to come back from a 21 point deficit? Go ahead in the comments and let me know, were you rooting for Team Raptor? Do you think they can come back or are you hoping that Team Komodo takes it all the way? Go ahead and let me know what you guys think. And we are back to the second half of the Gecko Bowl. The athletes are out on the field. They're looking ready for the second half. Let's go ahead and get into the kickoff. Go! So the Komodos have cemented from the score standpoint, but I have a feeling that the Raptors have champion hearts and they're not just going to go away. They're going to try to take these last two touchdowns. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Go! Go, 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 go! go, go. go, go. Oh my God! Yes! Go! Oh. Oh my gosh, the Komodos are walking away with this. Kelsey, you just need one touch on. You don't want my to. My team is asleep. I think that they have a Gecko Bowl hangover. We're going to get into the last down right now. And the Raptors showed that championship heart. They didn't give up. Knowing they were down by five touchdowns, both teams did so amazing. But I wanted to congratulate the 2018. Gecko Bowl champions, the new and the crown Komodos. Yay! Woo! the champions! I guess we're gonna have to get ready for next season. Oh, look at that. That is a very focused coach right there. She's already looking ahead. She's not gonna just enjoy this championship. She is looking ahead for a dynasty. See, what, do you, what do you think? Are, are you gonna be able to pick it up this year and get back to your championship form next year? Well, I mean, Jessica is pretty focused. She's already thinking about next season. Last season when I won, I said I was going to Disneyland, so I guess I gotta get my head in the game and be a better coach. Eric, how do you feel Dude, about your championship? That, that was pretty good. I uh, rooted for the underdog, took it home. That was awesome. Oh, well, last year you said you lost $100 on the Gecko Bowl. Did you redeem yourself? Yeah. Did you actually yeah. win money this year? Yeah, I made 100000 off this bet. It's a heartbreaking loss. You know, no, don't let them get too comfortable because we're going to come back stronger next year. That's the way. That's a true fan. Yeah, speaking. yeah. Mary, how do you feel? I mean, you put your heart and soul behind Kelsey and the Raptors, and uh, it was, it was a, a tough outing for you guys. It's all right. We just have to do more training this year. We'll come back strong we'll see you again next year. So there it is, everyone. Reporting you from BHB Reptiles and Gecko Bowl Land. This is the 2018 Gecko Bowl. The Komodo Dragon shocked the world and actually came out on top. I hope that you enjoyed this experience. I hope that you were on the right side of this. Can you do me a favor? If you did like this Gecko Bowl, go ahead and share it with others, as well as hit that like button for me. And as always, I'm vlogging every single day. So make sure to turn those post notifications on for more awesome videos about about crazy animals. And remember that I post every day, seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to someone today. Until next year for the 2019 Gecko Bowl, we'll be sure to keep you guys posted. And as for me, I'll see you guys tomorrow.